Hello. Hi. Um, oh my gosh, today is crazy and I had to talk to you about it because this is insane. I just got back from my six week checkup with my surgeon after having a tumor removed from my uterus that was like this big. He said it was the equivalent of five uteruses and that I was like if I were a pregnant woman, I would have been six months pregnant. So this is crazy. This is what how it all started. Uh, back in December, I finally went to the doctor and found out I had this. It's called a fibroid. Um, apparently, it's really common in women. One in four women get these, which I had no idea. I had never heard of before until all of this happened to me. Um, but most women's don't grow to be the size of mine. Mine just happened to grow to be freakishly big. And so this was a really scary thing for me. I found out in December and when I was going through the whole process, doctors were throwing around words like cancer and all this stuff. I had to go get an MRI to make sure it wasn't cancerous and to make sure that there was only one because apparently you can get multiple of these and then was I going to have to be cut open like a C-section with a large cut? Was I going to be able to have this laparoscopically, get little cuts? There were a lot of things that were just, you know, and then the possibility of would I still be able to have kids or not? And um, I think that now that all this is over with, I'm finally getting to sit back and look back at everything that happened and be able to process because this was an emotional roller coaster that I went through from day one because I live 700 miles away from my family and I was afraid to have surgery and be alone and away from my family. Then not to mention having to be taken care of, which, oh my God, the recovery part of surgery was much worse than I thought it would be. I couldn't get up by myself for a week. I had to have help going to the bathroom. I had to have friends come check on me in shifts because I didn't have a live-in care person. I had to schedule people literally every two hours of the day to say, hey, can you come to my apartment, walk in and help me off the couch so I can go to the bathroom. Um, but I wanted to share some of the things that I learned throughout all of this because God I wish that I would have known now what I think I learned in the process of the surgery and I think one of the big things was decide if you want kids I never knew if I wanted kids or not I always was like ah, if it happens it happens if it doesn't it doesn't and to an extent I still kind of feel that way but I also realized in all of this that I'm not getting any younger I'll be 33 in a few months and I haven't had kids and one of the big things that this showed was oh my god I might have that choice taken away from me and I really didn't want that I wanted to still have the choice and it was really important to be able to save all of my lady bits and thank goodness we did but now childbirth will be different for me than how it would have been if I didn't have this procedure like I I will always have to have a c-section in pregnancy now because my lady bits are not the same and I can't withstand uh, going into labor. My doctor said there's a possibility that my uterus could burst if I went into labor. So that's kind of scary. Uh, that's actually really scary. And there's a possibility that this thing might grow back. He said it looks, he, he feels good because I only had one big one. And most women who grow back, they typically have more than one. So. I don't know, hopefully this won't grow back and I won't have to have this surgery again because, oh my God, it was awful. It ended up, it was supposed to be a four hour procedure. It ended up taking seven hours because it was so big and my fallopian tubes were wrapped around this thing. It was insane. Um, so yeah, that's the other thing too. Pay attention to your body. If something doesn't feel right, make an appointment right away because I actually noticed this in September, but I didn't go to the doctor until December because I thought I was crazy. And lo and behold, I was not crazy. I, there really was something there and I had to have it removed. So I wish I would have gone sooner maybe. Um, but you know, you live and you learn. So now I really do have to keep a handle on going to the doctor and making sure and always getting checkups and checking on this thing. And Man, and I will never, ever, ever, ever take my body for granted again. That's the other thing I learned. You know, I work out a lot and I go to the gym and I eat healthy, but I still kind of like, I'll go a couple of weeks just eating nothing but chocolate for a couple of weeks and go, oh, screw it. I don't need to go to the gym. I don't need to sleep. Who cares? 
But after surgery, being couch ridden for like two weeks and not being able to get up and move really made me want to use my body the way it was supposed to be used. Like I want to push myself harder at the gym now. I want to be an athlete. I want to go hike. I want to be outside. I want to enjoy what's been given to me because you get older before you know it and I don't know, who knows, maybe 10 years down the road something will happen and I won't be able to run like I can or hike. So always appreciate your body and the other thing is appreciate appreciate the people in your life who love you and your pets because your pets know when you're sick. This guy stayed by me the whole time, Dexter, I love him, but man, my friends that took care of me in the hospital and even all the doctors and the nurses and everybody at the hospital were so patient and I know having to care for other people is not an easy task and it's hard and it's daunting and it's time consuming and I was so grateful for everybody and gratitude was one of the biggest things that came out of my surgery too. You just look at life differently. Like the things that matter so much before a life altering thing like this happens don't even matter anymore. Like the small things that I would stress out over just didn't even matter. So man, I wish I could put into words. I think there's this feeling that happens when you come out of something that big that it's hard to even express into words how it changes you, but it does. It changes you and I'm grateful for everybody and I appreciate you for letting me share my journey with you and letting me talk about this surgery. It's been a crazy, it's been a crazy past few months and we finally made it through to the other side and I just appreciate you. So thank you. Say bye, Dexter. Bye. Bye. Okay.